it seemed like there were times where you were you all were struggling to to get to Minshew and and to break passes up. What are some of the things that you think need to get cleaned up moving forward so that that doesn't happen again? I mean, I think we can clean up everything, honestly. Um, I mean, obviously, it feels good to win. Uh, it feels good to be 2-0. Um, that's a good feeling. But honestly, I mean, being one of the leaders on the defense, I wasn't uh, pretty pleased with our performance out there today. We missed a lot of tackles, including myself. Um, we didn't stop the run. We couldn't get pressure on the quarterback. Uh, didn't really feel like we challenged the receivers good enough. But at the end of the day, just the fact that we did win the game um, just shows that we, and we obviously had a lot to clean up. But to be doing it 2-0, uh, it feels a lot better to be doing it one on one yeah, Kevin, um, as you said, it was difficult stopping uh, the Jags for most of the game, but how big? You get two stops there at the end. What did you guys do well there? And also, if you can talk about how, how tough it was for the secondary overall with the, the injury situation. Yeah, I mean, we practice a lot of situational football, and I think, you know, credits to that. I mean, Brabel and all the coaching staff really have us prepared for those situations. I think we did pretty good. I mean, we allowed a field goal, a 10 and a half. Then Kalu was able to recover the ball, and we couldn't another field goal. And, um, you know, those type of plays in the game situations, man, those are the games that's going to win ball games in the NFL because you're not going to be able to blow everybody out. Games are going to be close. And, um, yeah, I mean, guys are injured. Uh, it's the NFL, man. It's 100% injury rate. Uh, we just got to fight through injuries. I had a little shoulder or whatever. But other than that, man, we just got to keep playing, uh, get in the treatment room, and uh, get ready for the next game. Jim. KB, I know you're covering, you're carrying out your assignment on that last play. When did you realize the ball had been batted in the air, and it, and what was your feeling when you saw Landry win? I mean, I was just happy that we won the game. Uh, doesn't really matter who makes the play out there. I'm going to be excited, no matter if it's me or any of my teammates. I think Jeff was the one batting it up in the air. He's been playing big time football for us. And Harold came down with him second, so I was just happy and relieved that we won the game. And I guess normal normal times, there's a huge roar of the crowd when that play happens. I mean, how weird was it? It happened. It was kind of quiet, other than what you guys were reacting to. And when did you know he he had the ball? Uh, I mean, when the ball was coming down. I mean, I was I was actually coming down. Uh, I thought I was going to actually get their interception. Honestly, if Jeff didn't bat the ball, then I was actually coming right across the receiver's face. But once he caught the ball, man, I just heard a roar from our sideline. I mean, obviously, when I'm out in the field, I'm not really too concerned about the crowd. Um, but, I mean, hearing the work from our side was good enough, so just decided we won the game. Right, Kevin, I don't know what it sounded like to you down there, but to us, we could actually hear, you know, like I guess there were seven fans in the crowd. We could hear individuals kind of saying, woo, after a play or trying to, you know, trying to make a little noise. What was that like playing in that and actually hearing a, like a handful of fans at times trying to give you guys some energy? Yeah, I mean, you know, we kind of knew what it was going to be coming to this year with no fans. I mean, we're going to have to bring our own energy, bring our own juice. Uh, I, I don't think the energy, uh, as far as the crowd noise, really affected us as a football team. I think it was some times we just weren't executing our defense, and there was some times we were. And, and it showed out there today. But at the end of the day, like I said, man, we ended up getting the win. A uh, big win for our team. They could be 2-0. And, oh, and we got the Minnesota Vikings coming up next week. Would you imagine, Kevin, that even like 7,000 fans next time would be a pretty massive difference compared to today? Oh, for sure. I mean, um, man, I come from Middle Tennessee where, you know, we always didn't have our stadium packed out. So I kind of know the difference between, um, you know, having a little bit of fans and having a packed out stadium. So, but whatever the case may be, um, is my job and our job as a team and coaching staff and everybody to make sure that we're ready to play regardless of fans out there or not. You know, it's all about reaching locking in on the side of the football and being more detailed than we have been. Harry? KB, what does it mean for this for you and first time in your career to be two and zero with the Titans? Uh, I mean, it's not really any significant value, honestly. Um, I mean, I kind of know that you know they talk about being zero two is the death sentence as far as not getting to the playoffs. So I feel good about that. I feel good to win the division game, so we're on the right track. Um, but we have a lot of fix, man. Honestly, we have a really lot of fix. We got to be more detailed, you know, as a team, as a defense. And uh, I mean, obviously, it feels good to be having feel like we had to fix it, but we're up two and zero. So, um, I mean, it feels good. Um, but, I mean, obviously, we got to come back next week, man, go straight back to work, man, because it's a lot of stuff we can fix out there. Trouble more, John Burton. Yeah, KB, congrats on the win. Kind of along those lines uh, of what you were just asked, I mean, this this franchise hasn't been 2-0 since 2008. And just given how you guys finished last year and the high expectations from the city and the fans going into this year, how important is that 2-0 start? Like you said, got, got a lot of work to do, but, uh, you know, 
two and zero. So it's off to a good start. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it feels good. I mean, obviously, I haven't been two and zero since I've been here. Um, it just kind of reflects that obviously, you know, this organization is getting things turned around in a good way, and we're actually winning football. So to be two and zero feels good. Um, it's like I said, it's gonna be feeling good to go in, in the meeting rooms. Obviously, there's always things to fix. I mean, whether it was 0-2, 1-1, 2-0, there's things to fix. But like I said, being 2-0 definitely feels great. Um, feel great to be a Titan right now. Yeah, KB, with um, Goskowski being able to, to come through for you guys once again, how what do you make of, of having him, you know, as a weapon to help you guys to win these close games? Yeah, I mean, obviously, he didn't have his best game last week. And, um he ended up kicking the game with a field goal for us last week, man. I, I you know I think everybody on the team kind of backed him up and trusted him and knew he was going to make his kicks. Um, and he came back this week, man. I think he made all his extra points um, and make the game with a field goal again, man. He's a pro. He's been doing this for a long time. He's made a lot of game with the field goals. And uh, we have a full trust in him. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Kevin, to give up almost 500 yards today and, and not be able to hold a lead, how alarming do you think this is at this point in the season for the defense that, that y'all you, you struggle to protect a lead like that? Yeah, I mean, I want to say it's alarming. I mean, obviously, it's early in the season. We have a long season. But it's definitely – we're definitely on high alert because, I mean, we, we have a lot of things to fix. So, like I said, next week is really looking ourselves in the mirror and understand that we're not playing up to our standards. We're not playing up to the expectation that we set for ourselves. And that has to change immediately. So that's really what it's all about, man. Like I said, we're 2-0, feels good. But at the same time, uh, it was like a gut check, honestly.